two, one, and we have a game for right. Buck. And we are on Lexer right away. He grabs the Mega Health. He gets that LG right away. That was a good spawn right there already. Mega Health and Red Armor. Lexer is packed. He's ready to take on Daler with no problems. This guy got the best spawn that he could possibly spawn. What he could do right now is really get up to that rocket launcher level and stay up there. He looks like he's got the LG. Here comes some action here. Here comes Daler. He's firing off some rockets. He's not able to do Lexer. Lexer's actually thrown out. Oh, nice job. Machine gun. Lexer takes him down. There it was. He had Daler pinned to the corner there. Daler with only 22 health. He managed to get, he, he hit himself with a little bit of splash damage, got down to six, and then Lexer, being the smart player he was, whipped out that machine gun and did a couple of bullets, and that was the frag right there. Now, Lexer, he's definitely got the map advantage already. 50 seconds into this game, the man's walking around with 160 health, 42 armor. He's definitely got control of mega health. Daler, I'm going to guess that he's going to be going for some rails here. He's going to want to get that rail gun because that's where his, one of his strong points is. He just got a nice rail on Daler, and uh, I, I see you're watching Lexer here. I'm yeah. going to switch over to Daler. Okay, I'm going to stay uh, on Lexer here. 145 right. health, 97 armor. Doing a little bit of walk in there, trying to sneak up behind. He's going down, got the mega health again, 197, 106 health. If he continues to own that mega health and that red armor, and that's going to be game over because he's got it, and Daler's not going to have it. So, 1-0 Lexer right now as he picks up Daler heading up the staircase. He follows him, fires off a couple rockets to do a little bit of bruising there. Doesn't pick him up. Daler gets away from him, starts firing some rockets. Oh, oh nice whale nice shot. Rail. Lexer, as Daler falls down, and he follows up with a spawn. Daler spawns outside of the lightning gun room, and he's taken down already. Lexer with a strong lead in this match. Three to zero. Daler now at the top of the rocket launcher area, waiting in that jump pad. I think that he's planning an attack on red armor, and there he grabs it. That's going to be a nice change of pace there for Daler. Now he has some armor. If he can get that Another firefight here in the lightning gun room. Daler er, gets railed by Lexer. Oh, wow. What a nice. up with an electrocution. Very nice. <laughs> nice shaft there. Lightning gun action going on. Lexer, four to nothing right now. Coming out strong. And I'm beginning to see that what Lexer's doing is, as he's racking up a few of these frags, he's pushing a little bit harder. He's searching a little bit harder. He's coming out of that defensive mode, so he's going a little bit defense, but he's pushing harder and harder the higher and higher he goes. He's really going after Daler. Right now, not a whole lot of action going on. He picks up Daler. Oh, nice. Another Whale nice shot. Track. Hits him. That. Through two hallways, through the lightning gun room. That was beautiful. Boom, That's he doesn't kill him, but he did get a nice rail shot off, and he's going to try to follow up with another rail shot here. Right now, four to zero, Lexer. Go ahead. Man. Now, Lexer here, he has come out absolutely 100% aggressive on this map. He got the good spawn, and he had to have said to himself, another oh. firefight up at the rocket launcher. Daler's taken out again already three minutes into the game, five to zero in Lexer's favor. This guy got the good spawn, he capitalized on it, and he came out aggressive. It's worked for him, and he's continuing to go with that strategy. Right now, Daler's got a heck of a game ahead of him. Already down five frags. He needs to regain control, and he needs to grab some power-ups so that he can get back into this game. We'll see if he can actually do that. Five to nothing by Lex, or yes. The actual story so far has been him owning the Mega Health, the Red Armor, and getting that first spawn. That's been the whole thing, and ever since then, he has just been owning on Daler here. Rocket launcher up by the rocket. Um, spawn point there right next to the oh boy did I lose go take over man the pentagram he just <laughs> Lexer just went down to that middle area you know Lexer's rail this match has already been uh, very impressive he grabs another mega health here we saw a fall away rail as Daler tried to evade Lexer's attack he fell down from the red armor and Lexer just falls up there Daler whipping out that shaft a weapon that's been really nice for him here the whole tournament Lexer follows up he says hey I'll show you my shaft too wow. and there it was take on another frag. Six to zero. Four minutes into this game. Lexer wants to win that money. Oh yeah, and he's actually pressing harder and harder and harder. Still staying up on a third level. That's an excellent strategy to own the armor and own that mega health out there in the pentagram near room near that long, long jump pad. If he can continue to do that, here he comes across the mega health again. He's timing it right. He knows when that mega health another rail shot and hits Daler again. That rail gun is going to be proved to be very, very mean because Daler's going to have to keep his distance to try to avoid getting hit with a rail shot. He's taking some
the punishment. What's happening here is Daler is spending more time looking for help and avoiding Lexer's rails. Another beautiful rail by Lexer as Daler goes up the jump pad and notices him there at the rocket launcher area. Lexer completely dominating with the rail. Like I was saying before, Daler, he's running around. He's looking for help because Lexer's just hitting him with rails left and right. It is 7-0 to zero here. Daler, he, he, he needs to get some power-ups and into this game. Now, we got 10 minutes left. That doesn't say a whole lot. But if Lexer gets a few more frags, he might just say, hey, I'm going into defensive mode. I'm not even going to let this guy see me. I don't need to grab power-ups. I'll just walk away, and I'll just avoid him the rest of the map. It could happen. I don't know. Against Daler, it's going to be tough to do. But right now, uh, more action here. Lexer and Daler fighting here in the Red Armor Room. More shaft action, and Daler just coming up short of every time with his uh, with the shaft there and with the rails. Lexer's got that one up on him. One up. That one up is going to prove to be the game if he continues to own that mega health and armor. He got it again. He's timing it right. We're looking at 199 health, 168 armor. If they go one on one shaft wise, there's really no way that Daler can compete with that. He's going to pull out his shaft, and he knows he's going to go down first. And so it's been really tough. But right now, as we have. 8 to 0 Lexer Lexer just owning it I'm not I'm, I'm not real sure that Lexer would actually go into more of a defensive mode I think the more the farther and farther ahead he gets the more confident he gets he's going to press harder he's just going to keep racking this up because a fantastic win like this would really give him a great opportunity to come back again that's right now one thing to point out oh my goodness and Daler I wasn't catching that on the cam but he cratered off of the columns in the YA area an unfortunate turn of events for Daler as now he's sitting at negative one to Lexer's eight right now. Lexer, I would say he's pretty much got full control of this map. Just firing rails left and right and hitting him with just about every single one. It seems like looking at his stats right now, Lexer is shooting a 40% rail gun. Very impressive on this map, especially with the shots that he's been taking. And now Lexer blows himself up. Daler going at him. He must have picked up some armor. He said, I'm going to go after this guy. Got some close range rocket shots. Lexer ended up blowing himself up. Up, losing a point. It's now seven to negative one. Still an eight point spread, but Daler may be saying, hey, I need to get back in this game. And he's doing the right things. Nice electrocution by Daler as Lexer goes up into the rocket launcher. And uh, Daler, there he goes. He's going for that rail gun. I think that's going to be what Daler needs to win this match. He needs to do what Lexer did to him in the first six minutes, and he needs to start firing that rail and hitting him with nice accuracy. He's doing it right now. Oh, as Daler goes down, nice. LG action going on there as Lexer comes back and gets another frag up there. There was a bit of a turning point there. He went down minus one, but started to come back, and then Lexer made a mistake and blew himself up. But what happened there was Daler actually grabbed the Mega Health and was actually doing really well against uh, Lexer, but unfortunately, Lexer just let that health wear down a little bit, came back after him with an LG shot. And he's getting some very nice shots. Daler, nice shotgun by Daler coming up the, the yellow armor bounce pad. It's now 8-1, to one, and you know, Daler is not out of this match at, by any means. He is definitely already kind of of like what we were talking about, he's not going to lose his head. He knows that he's still got a chance. Even though Lexer's getting those frags, what he's looking for is an opportunity to kill Lexer, get him, make sure he's got no weapons, and then spawn rape him. Basically, he spawns near the LG. He gets a few free kills. You know, not much you can do with the with the uh, machine gun when you're jacked full of armor, jacked full of health, and you got a rocket launcher, an LG, or a rail. Absolutely. Once again, going back, Lexer is now owning the mega health and actually the red armor. So Lexer, 184 health, 115 armor, doing a great job. He's not letting Daler get that little advantage. He let Daler get the mega health. So I think that was just a bit of a luck on, on the part of Daler. It looks to me like Lexer's controlling that. To do some LG action there. Wears down Lexer a little bit. Lexer pulls oh, out a rail gun. Oh, very nice. Oh, very very nice. Down. Daler capitalizing on the fact that Lexer pulled out his rail gun there, pulling out his plasma gun and getting some very nice bolts in there. That was nice. I got to give Daler some props for that. He basically pinned him up against that wall. Yep. Got the final shots that he needed and got another frag. It's now 9-2. to two. It's a seven-point game. We're nine minutes elapsed into this game. I'm still going to say it's anyone game. Nice rocket by Daler as he comes up the pad. And uh, it is going to come down to control the power-ups and the rail gun. Now Lexer is up on the, uh, grabbing up the rocket gun. He's jumping down towards the pentagram there, bouncing around. Mega Health's not there. Daler actually picked up the red armor, so he's got an advantage. Here he comes with the uh, LG. Oh, oh, 
Oh, but he takes a rocket. Daylor goes down. And then an unfortunate spawn by Daylor. But hey, nice job. He gets the machine gun kill on Lester as he was put down. He did not have very much help coming out of that fight. He was able to get the frag. But Daylor, he knew he was hurt. He came back. He fired his machine gun a few times. And he capitalized on that. Nailed him a couple times. Lexer, another another fight here at the y, or the red armor. Daylor using that chef lot. It looks like he might get another one here. One health. There it is. Nice there machine it is. gun by Daylor. He is closing the gap. It is 10 to 4 here. Daylor is hurting, though. He's got 5 health, and boy, he's going to need that mega health if he's going to want to make a good attack. Lexer almost snagging him there with that lightning gun. There it is. Ooh, nice break by Daylor as he's not fragged there. I thought he was going to get it. I thought so, too. I think Lexer knew that he was way low on health after a rocket fight match like that LG action going on there. He was going after him to try to get that extra frag there and close the gap, or actually widen the gap a little bit. Now we're down to 6 points. 10 to 4. Lexer's in the lead. 10 minutes, 22 seconds. Oh. Oh, nice, LG. Lexer, now From the did you second see that? Level. He wow. just stood there. He was on the second level. As soon as Daylor went up that jump pad, there was nothing Boom. that he could do about it. He was already, the momentum, he was flying up. Lexer stood there. He didn't even move. He didn't even skip a beat. He just put his shaft right on him and just let the beeping ensue. Now, 11 to 4. Lexer's got control of the map again, but Daylor, he's being very aggressive in this map. Well, Daylor's actually got the Whoa. Oh, five 5 health left for Lexer. If Daylor presses, he can get him. And Lexer gets back up. He's got about 30 health right now. If Daylor can press forward, he's not. Well, looking at Daylor, he at only had 50 health after wow. leaving that. So that was a smart move by him. It was like, I can either try to chase the frag, or I can try to get some more health and go. Oh, oh Lexer, Lexer blowing blew himself up. up on the wall, wow. losing another frag. It is still 10 to 4. Four minutes left in this game. Daylor is keeping himself in by playing smart, making the moves that he needs to move, making the shots. I still think that maybe if he, if he would have gotten the rail a little bit earlier in the game, if he would have capitalized that on that, he would have been able. There we go. The first time, I believe, no, the fourth time that Daylor has grabbed a mega health, that's going to be a huge one. There was just a turn in the tides there. Now Daylor looks like he's got some control. Lexer, on the other hand, he's slowing down. He's playing a little bit more defensively because he knows he's got a six-frag lead, and there's only three minutes left in this match. Exactly. He's going to, he's backing off, definitely. He's still going to be at, oh, nice rocket hit. Oh, health left to go. Nice kill. Lexer gets over. Executed oh. by Daylor, outstanding, 10 to 5. Looks like we're back into a ball game. Daylor's taking control. Five point game here as we hit the 12 minute mark. That was very nice by Daylor. I gotta say, with both those LGs pinned on each other's players, I thought Lexer was gonna come out of that winning. But Daylor, he came out, he didn't have that much health. He went down for the mega health, which was a smart thing to do. But the man has incredible uh, LG aim, and uh, that's what won the battle. Those little key battles there, that's what's turning the tide this match. Nice two double in your face rockets. Both players connecting with those. Very nice action here. More LG. Oh, and Lexer Taylor goes gets down. Down. 11 to 5. He takes the lead again. Giving oh, back a little bit. 30 extra. seconds left in this match. Yeah, we were doing. Uh, Daylor was doing some rocket action there. Oh, and Daylor gets fragged by rocket again. As Lexer goes and gets the mega health, drops him again. Lexer's taking back a little bit more control, getting a little bit more aggressive, trying to put the match back into his favor. He's got the mega health, but not the armor. However, looks like, oh, now he's picked up the Mega Armor there. 71 health. Looking like some plasma gun action going on here. Nice rail shot from Daylor. Oh, oh he got ran in a row. That was nice with two minutes left in this match. It's still a six-point game. It's going to be really tough for Daylor to come back and to defeat Lexer. But I'll tell you what. Daylor has not given up here, and that's what's nice to see. He, uh, you know, he, he stayed on his money. He stayed on the ball. He's been, he's been playing smart. Even though he gets down, he's taken a few aggressive turns in this match, which may or may not have fallen in his favor, but he's still in this game. He's trying his hardest to come back. It's going to be tough here with only a minute and 30 seconds left. Right now, Lexer is really doing some defensive stuff. He's hanging out down on the first level, backing off. Oh, nice rail shot. Two health. Oh, oh, nice job. Even with two health, he gets the rail. It's 12 to 7, five points deciding this game. And uh, Daylor is on the hunt. He is trying to take out Lexer. Another nice rail. And Lexer almost cratered. Oh, nice. Now, execution. what Lexer's going to do now is he's going to wait for the spawns. Daylor's going to walk around. He's going to try to find Lexer on the spawns. But right now, Daylor. Taylor or Lexer has the advantage because he can wait the full spawn time before he comes in. 
Lexa right now, LG action, looking for the Mega Health. He's got 100 armor and 100 health. Plenty enough to do some fighting with, but he is backing off a little bit, walking real slow, trying to sneak up on Daler. Keeps walking around. 14, 16. We got about uh, 30, 40 seconds left to go in this you match. Know what? 40 seconds left in this match. It is 12 to 8. Even if Daler was able to kill Lexer, he's going to play the sit and wait game. And that is after you get spawned, you just sit there and you wait for the spawn. There it is. Lexer already acknowledging that he has won this match with a good game. Daler giving it his all, making it a three point game. But I'll tell you what, there's still not enough time. Oh, and Lexer did spawn, which is surprising. Daler oh, he goes down. Daler killed Lexer. There's 15 seconds left, but Lexer's not going to spawn anymore. Two point game, 12 to 10. Awesome match. Outstanding. Excellent work by Daler. Congratulations, Lexer. Walks away with the cash. He is your Quake 3 1v1 dual champion. Congratulations to M19 Lexer.